What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield Series 11. And ladies and gentlemen, check out the team that we have in front of ourselves today. Today, we are rocking out with a Life Orb Palkia team that also features Weakness Policy, Galarian Moltres, and Oblivious Mamoswan. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. I thank everybody who supports me as a content creator. I say this in every single video because it really does go a long way. So again, thank you to everybody who supports me as a content creator. But using this Palkia team today is getting me excited for the Diamond and Pearl remix. It's just cannot wait for it. I just cannot wait for it. We're about like a week and a half out of it. I'm just going to be bringing you guys tons of content for that. And I'm very, very excited considering it is one of my favorite generations. But getting started with this team in that top left corner, we have the one and only Rotom Heat, or as I like to call it, Rotom Pizza Oven because it is legit just an oven. It's got Levitate as its ability, Safety Goggles as its item, and then we got Overheat, Thunderbolt, Nasty Plot to set up, and Will-O-Wisp for burns on physical attackers. Right next to him is going to be a heavy hitting Pokemon for this team, and that is going to be Palkia. We have Telepathy as its ability, so we cannot be hit by ally Pokemon, and then we got the Life Orb as its item to make it do even more damage. Our two moves to get started is going to be Hydro Pump and Spatial Rain. They're both our stat moves, and these moves are ridiculously strong. Their base power is over 100, I think they're like 120 each. It's something around there, but these things hit like a truck. And then we got Earth Power for a coverage move and Protect for our final move. Cannot wait to showcase that Pokemon, potentially Dynamaxim and Wall in the battle. Middle left is going to be Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn's always pretty solid on any single team. It's got the Iron Barbs as its ability, Leftover as items so we can recover HP at the end of every single turn. Then we got Body Press, Iron Defense to set up our defense bulk, Leech Seed to set up Leech Seed because Leech Seed is really, really good, and then Protect as our final move. So once you get this Pokemon set up, he can stall out, especially up against physical attackers with that Iron Defense. Right next to him is Grimmy Grim, and this Grim Snarl over here is mwah, it's beautiful. I love this Grim Snarl setup. It's got Reflect and Light Screen with Light Clay. That's really all you need on the Grim Snarl. It just works so well, and it's just amazing for any single team. It's also got the Prankster ability, and then it's two other moves. It's going to be Spirit Break, which is going to be a stab hitting move, and it works as a special attack drop, and Fake Tears for a special defense drop. So he's going to actually pair well with Palkia, Moltres, and Rotom, as they are all special attackers. Bottom left is going to be Mamoswine, and Mamoswine is actually a really good Pokemon. With this Oblivious ability, he can't be faked out, he can't be intimidated, so that's huge up against Pokemon like Incineroar that are so heavy used in this meta. He also has a Focus Sash as his item, then we got Icicle Crash, EQ, both for our stab hard hitting moves, Ice Shard for first turn priority, and Protect. And one more thing he can do here is with Ice Shard, we can proc our final Pokemon's weakness policy, which is going to be Galarian Moltres. Like I said, this thing has a weakness policy, Berserk as its ability, and then it's Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Nasty Plot to set up, and Protect for its final move. Guys, if you want to try out the team for yourself, you guys already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder and look to get some wins with this Palkia Series 11 team. Let's get rolling with this Palkia team. We're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex Trick Room team in battle number one that also features Dusclops, Amoongus, Shell, Regilecki, and Incineroar. So he is definitely going to go for that, uh, what's it called? He's definitely going for that, uh, that Trick Room here. And I don't think, I don't have any Taunt Pokemon, right? I do not have any Taunt Pokemon. So how should I play this one? How should I go out and about with it? Um, I could just go with the special defense drop onto that and try to dump on it with, say, like a Moltres. Ooh, Moltres could be really, really good here. Yeah, let's do it. Let's rock it. Let's go Grimstarl and Moltres as our lead. Be really, really good if he wants to go into Dust Cops and try to uh, go into the Trick Room. I'm with it all day. And then next Pokemon, we're going to bring Palkia. And then final guy, it's going to be either Rotom or Mamoswine. Or do I bring Ferrothorn? Ferrothorn could be good. Ferrothorn could be good, but I just feel like Mamoswine could work one here. Hmm. Hmm. Or Rotom. Rotom really good. I do love me some Rotom. I think I am going to go in with Rotom. Let's do it. Let's lock in Rotom for our final Pokemon and get rolling from here. But yo, let me know for question of the day. This is actually an important question day of the day. So I'd love to get you guys feedback on this one. So it is what content would you guys like to see for the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl Diamond and Pearl remakes? Really would like to get you guys to answer because I'm considering doing uh well I'm not considering. I am going to be doing a playthrough on this channel. I'm going to be doing live streams over on my Twitch page. So if you're not following on my Twitch, make sure you go follow. The name is right below my face cam. And link is down in the description below. And we're also going to be doing uh catching guides where to catch every single Pokemon on this YouTube channel. And uh I guess TMs and HMs guide right here on this channel. So if you guys have any other content ideas, let me know in the comment section down below. I love to, I would love to get you guys answers. But uh we're starting off here. Let's see who he leads. He's gonna throw out Dust Cops and Reggie. All right, Dust Cops and Reggie. And again, this leads me to just go into a Dynamax, uh, Fake Tears, and drop a, uh, drop a, what's it called, right? 
Go into a fake tears into a nice lovely max darkness into him. I think that's the play. And I have random music on and we got a nice little dreary music going on. Get in a start here. This is the move we're going to go for here. If he wants to go into an E-Web, I think that's fine by me. Because I will just proc my weakness policy. And then we can for sure kill Dust Cops. But I think this should still be able to kill Dust Cops. Minus two on special uh, defense. Stab, super effective move from a Galarian Moltres who hits like a truck. I think we should be fine. I think we should be thriving. This is exactly why I want to go in the Moltres. It was just in case he wants to leave this Dust Cops. It was just in case Dust Cops is coming out here. But let's see what he does. This play is going to be, or I go first, with a nice lovely little fake tears. Getting after it. And I wonder what Regilecki's doing. Is he going to proc my policy? He's going to Volt Switch. So he's not going to proc my policy. He's going to hard swap into, if I had to guess, it is going to be, uh, it is going to be Ice Rider Calyx. Actually, he's trying to set up a trick room, right? Is that his play? Is this this dude's lovely little play? Which this could be actually really good for us if he does swap in that. And we can pick up the KO onto this Dust Clops. Let's see. Is it going to be Calyrex? It is going to be Calyrex. So hopefully we can get this KO. If we get this KO, we're sitting pretty because this thing will be minus one of special defense. And I can dump on it next turn. Let's see how this one plays out. Max Stark is going to fly through here. He's minus two on special defense. Take him out, please. Get him out of here. Let's go. Let's go. What a way to start off this battle. Huge play. Knew this was the right call to go in with this lead. His trick room's gone. He got out this guy. And Ice Rider Calyrex is now minus one on special defense. So what I could do is actually just... uh. I could set up a Reflect, which I might do, or I could just fake tears and go into a, what's it called? Let's see what he throws out here. He's going to throw out Regilecki. We might Dynamax here. But I might just set up a Light Screen. Are we going to another Max Darkness? I am. I am going to do that. Let's set up a Light Screen here. I think he might Dynamax for Regilecki, so let's just see how this one plays out. He's going to withdraw the Calyrex. Okay, so Calyrex gets the withdrawal. Who's he going to go into? He's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is going to be Incineroar. I'm just going to get it Intimidate. And is he going to Dynamax or Red? The Light Screen was a nice little play by me. The Light Screen was a lovely little play. And he's going to Dynamax or Red. So, good little call by him. We still have our Rotom Heat in the back alongside with Palkia. So, kind of digging it. Light Screen is going to work wonders here. He does have Fake Out next turn. Which, he is going to pick out my Grim Snarl. I can always Max Guard. Let's just see this dude's play. Let's just see this dude's play. Make a move, buddy. Make a move. Let's see what happens here. Light screen out and about, and we can do some big old damage onto this, uh, onto these Pokemon. After this, uh, weakness policy of proc, there's lightning. We should be able to eat this up through the light screen. Yep, all day. So we're going to go plus three on attack with our weakness policy and our, uh, berserk ability. That's going to be good, but max darkness, mm, on a, on an Incineroar, I don't think it's doing that much. I don't think it's doing that much, man. Let's see. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Look at that. Plus three. Plus three rolling. I could guard next turn. That would be lovely if we could guard. Here's a darkness flying out about. Get off some damage here. Not very effective, and it almost takes him out. Almost takes him out, which would have been awesome. We get a oh, we get a crit. That's why. We get a crit. Big old crit. Special defense is going to drop on both these Pokemon, and I can definitely see a fake out rolling here. His berry is going to come out. He's going to recover some HP and. If I set up a Reflect, I think Reflect might be the player. Set up a Reflect and maybe Guard. Right? Just try to waste out these guys' turns. Let's do it. Let's try to waste out these turns. Let's try to waste out these turns. We're going to Guard here. I was going to make a read that he wasn't going to go into my Guard, but we'll see how this one plays out. Fake Out comes out and about. And please tell me you're going into the Guard. Max Lightning goes to the Guard, so we did make the right call there. We did make the right call. We're going to drop out of our Dynamax form, and now he has one more turn left in Dynamax, which works out pretty well for us, because we can set up this Reflect, and we can kind of get rolling from there. The Reflect is going to come out and about, and then I guess we'll go for an Air Slash. <laughs> I guess we'll go for an Air Slash, but we know we're dead. We know that both Pokemon are potentially dead here. Maybe Grimstone can survive? We'll see. We shall see. But we had a strong first turn. We still have, like I said, Palkia and Rotom Heat in the back. Rotom Heat is very, very nice. Reflect coming out here for them physical attackers for Calyrex and that Incineroar. And this thing is just going to drop Max Lightning, taking out my bird, obviously. And hopefully, just maybe, that uh, this Grimstone can eat up through this Reflect. We shall see, because that could be big. That could be big for the squad. That could be really big for the squad. He's going to go for, oh, he's just going to go for a party shot, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. We have two special attackers in the back, but he does get Bake Out ready to roll again. But both my Pokemon do have Protect, which is nice. But now he's going to roll out into Calyrex. And that leads me to go into Rotom. 
Right, that leads me to go into Drill Tom. And do we think he's going to protect that guy? What do we think? What do we think? Because I could just drop an overheat and roll out after that. But Rotom's definitely coming out here. We're going to save our Palkia for that back end. I really don't want Palkia going up against this. Or not this Rotom, this Regimaki. So Rotom Heat's going to fly out and about here. We do have safety goggles, but it don't really matter. Um, hmm. What do I do from here? What do I do from here? Do I just fake cure this thing? We can make sure we kill it in one shot. Then I could go for an overheat. Hmm. What's my play here? What is my play here? Who do I get rid of? Oh, this is tough. This is real tough. I don't like this game one bit. I think he might protect Calyrex. I think he's going to protect the Calyrex. So I am just going to pop an overheat into this, uh, into this Regilaki. I really do think he protects Calyrex. Let's see his dude's play. Show me the protect on the Calyrex. Mwah. Mwah. Yo, I'm, I'm too good. I'm too good. Let's run it. Fake Tears comes out. We did fake tier it, but maybe I should have slid that one over, but this is going to come out here. He is going to bolt switch on you son of a biscuit. That's actually a really smart play. That's actually a really smart play because now we are minus on special attack. And I think he just fakes me out here. So, mm, what do I do? What do I do? It's a play here. Could protect my Rotom here. He's going to throw out Incineroar. And how much damage are we really going to do this thing? Let's see. We shall see how much damage are we really going to do this thing. But well, we did read the protect, which was a good call, but I'm surprised he went through that damage. Overheat's gonna fly out here. Slowly chipping away some damage. Oh, I'll take that. I'll take that. Now we know the fake out's probably coming onto the Rotom slot. And how many turns left in the light screen? And okay, we got plenty of turns. So I can hard swap into Palkia. But you know what? I can just protect the Rotom this turn. He doesn't know my final Pokemon yet. He does not know my final Pokemon. And I, I honestly I think hard swapping, uh, the Palkia this turn is actually really cool. But I'm going to go into here. I'm going to try to get off the Spear Break. And try to take out you. And just swap the Rotom just so our special attack goes back to normal. But let's see this play. Let's see this play. Like I said, we have the Reflect Up. We know we outspeed the what's it called. We know we outspeed the, uh, the Calyrex. That's a beautiful swap by me. The Fake Out comes into Palkia. And we deal a little bit of damage over here. But I, I want that to KO. I really did want that to KO. And this thing's going to pop a Trick Room. This thing is going to pop a Trick Room. Hmm. Okay. This thing ends up popping a Trick Room. I could protect my Palkia here. And or I just go into a Fake Tears. We just go into a Fake Tears and we try to get off on Earth Power. Hmm. Or I could just go straight into a Spatial Room, which is awesome. What's my, what's my better call? Let's go into a spatial run here. Let's try to get rid of this Calyrex. I think we should be able to. He might parting shot. He might parting shot. This one's a good battle. This is a great battle here. Big Tear's gonna fly. If we can get rid of this Calyrex here, that could be huge because then his Regilek has to come out here with the Trick Room out and about. The Glacial Lance is going to fly, which Palkia should be able to soak that up. Grimstar, I think, dies, right? Grimstar probably dies here. Palkia is able to eat up all day. And. I don't think Incineroar's taking us out, right? He might parting shot on me. But this thing is minus two on defense. He goes, he does go for the parting shot, which I think I'm fine with. I think I'm fine with. I think I'm fine with. Because I do think this takes him out. I do think this spatial man will take him out. Even though we're minus one, with the uh, with the minus two on uh, special defense, I really do think this takes him out. And we have a high crit chance. So maybe we can land a crit here and get off some big damage. So let's see how this one plays out. Special run comes through. Come on, okay, take him out. Take him out, please. Take him out. Get him out of here. Mmm. That one hurts. That one hurts. That one really does hurt. Okay. Uh, Rotom is going to pop out here. What is our play? What is our play? I think our play is just to overheat into... I think our play is just to overheat into you. Or, you know what? Do we do it the opposite way? We go here. And do we just drop an Earth Power here? Because all we have to do is eat up a Glacial Lance, which I think we should be should be able to do. Do we think he's going to go for another Glacial Lance? He's going to protect the Calyrex, which I'm cool with. Is Regilecki protecting? Regilecki does protect. So he's like, eh, he doesn't know what to do here. 
Do I go for those same turns? I think we reverse them now. Just in case he wants to swap the Calyrex. But if he swaps the Calyrex, then he still dies. He still dies. The Incineroar does not have a lot of health, right? Incineroar is really low on health, and I see that just taking him out. So I'm just going to go in with the same turn. I just think that's the play all day. He has to trick him out. Let's do this. is a good battle. This is a good battle. Let's see what he does. He can't protect. Uh, Calyrex is the only one who's going to be able to get off a hit. And I wonder what he's going for. He is chilling Nate boosted, so that might be able to take me out. He's going to withdraw the Regilaki into Incineroar. And Incineroar is going to go down here. But the thing is, are we going to be able to eat up this Glacial Lance now that it's plus one? That's really what this battle is coming down to. Glacial Lance is going to fight you. Palkia, eat this up. Eat up all day, Palkia. Palkia, I need you eating up. I need you eating up. That's it. Make it happen. Mmm. That's tough. That is tough. I probably should have protected the Palkia. Probably should have made the right call. Probably should have known that was going to take us out. But that is pretty much going to make this battle a wrap. That is going to make this battle a wrap all day. That's a solid battle. That's a solid battle. But 100%, that one's on me. Should have protected the Palkia there. Just think, if I protect the Palkia there, we're sitting in a really good spot because he still has like a turn left in Trick Room. But oh my lord, what a battle, what a battle. I'll take that one, I'll take that one. I should have read the play a little bit better, knowing that his Glacial Lance will take us out because he was plus one after he picked up the KO onto the Grimmsnarl. But that's the way the cookie crumbles. I'm just going to run this battle because how many turns left to Trick Room? One. Yeah, he's just going to fake me out here. That's GG's. That is GG, Joe. Solid battle for this guy. We did come off to a strong start, but we ended up losing the battle as a whole. Let's hop to our second. Look for our first win for today's video. I'm a little upset we lost that first one because we got off to a very strong start by taking out the Dust Cops with the Galarian Moltres, but I feel like we didn't play the back end of the game that well, but it's all good. We're looking to grab ourselves a win in battle number two here. Going up against a Kyogre team with Swift Swim with blah, blah, blah. Can't speak right now. With Swift Swim Kingdra. And then he also has the Regilecki, the Tornadus, Excalibur, and then the Robo. Okay. Um, hmm. What is the Gene's plan here? What is the plan? I could go in the Grimstone. Not bad. Grimmy Grim is not bad. I could go in the Ferrothorn as well. I do like Ferrothorn in this matchup. Um, hmm. I think Grimstone is probably a great lead all around. Going with the Moltres lead again, which could work wonders here. Which could do pretty good. Then if he goes into Regilecki, that could be scary. Uh... I could go Mammo. Or I could go in with the Mammo combo. Not bad. Uh, I think I am going to leave Mammo Swine regardless. We do have Focus Ash on him. I definitely want Moltres here. And then I think Palkia in our final spot. Yeah, let's run it. Let's run it. I kind of did want to bring Ferrothorn, but she's like, mm. I'd rather have some heavy hitter attackers to try to get some big KOs on their big name Pokemon. To look for this win here. But yo, that last battle was pretty long. I looked at my recording. It was like 15 minutes. I was like, bruh, what you mean? What do you mean 15 minutes? But yo, I always love a good battle like that. Always love myself a good battle like that. But we need to win here. We do need to win here. So let's grab it. Let's grab it. He goes in with the Rillaboom alongside with the uh, Tornadus. So he could be setting up a Tailwind. Uh, he's probably going to be faking out my my Grimstarl. So, I mean, that's fine. That's cool, I guess. I'm just going to drop an Ice Crash onto his, uh, onto his Rillaboom. I'd rather get rid of the Rillaboom, right? I'd rather just get rid of this roll boom. I will try to set up a light screen here. Light screen works wonders. And then we'll just go for this ice of crash on. Do I go into the roll boom? Or do I go into you? I mean, what could he do? He can taunt me. Which could be annoying. Let's go in the roll boom. Let's just go in the roll boom here. I just feel like roll boom just poses such a big threat all around. And I wonder if he's taking me out. If not, we do have our lovely little grassy... We're not grassy. But our lovely little focus ash on our... Uh, on our Mamo. I love Mamo Swine. I might be rocking out with him at Diamond and Pearl for my team. I'm still thinking about my team. Definitely going with Torterra or Empoleon. And, but then I have options for depending on which starter I pick. Because if I don't go Empoleon, I'm definitely rocking out with Flute. I love me some Flute, man. But I love me some Empoleon. It's a tough decision. It's a tough decision. Red Scott is going to fly here. And what he doesn't know is the Sash is out and about. The Sash is here. We got the lovely Sash here. Light Screen is going to pop. Um, I am going to. I might protect here. Let's see how this one plays out. Icicle Crash is going to fly. It does land. Thank the Lord. I would have been very upset if it didn't land. Icicle Shard comes out here. I'm like, bring this thing down to one. So, ah, that's tough. I could go for Ice Shard, but that Robo might outspeed me. But do I protect this turn and just go into a Spirit Break? That's my play. I think I'm going to do this. 
And I just, I'm just gonna look at this thing's speed. I think it's out speed. Ooh, it actually might have speed. Let's do it, yeah. Let's rock this ice shard. Let's rock this ice shard here. Let's do it. Actually, it's not going to. It's tailwind. What am I thinking? I should have protected. What am I doing? What am I doing? That was a stupid turn by me. Let's see what he does. Maybe he thinks I'm protecting it and I'll go into my Grim Snarl. Let's see. What am I doing? He has tailwind set up. He's going to outspeed me all day. Wish I can cancel. Let me hit the B button. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Grace <laughs> God is going to fly here. Later skater. Oh, he goes into Grim Snarl. Loving it. Loving it. Ice Shard's going to fly. Yes, sir. Bill, 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 bill. Later. Later. And hopefully he doesn't take out my Grim Snarl. Because I really want to set up a reflect. He's going to go into a hurricane. And he misses. Let's go. Spirit Break Foster. That's, that's low. That's huge. The Spirit Break flying through here. Doing about half damage. But more importantly, getting that special attack drop. And maybe, just maybe, an Ice Shark can KO onto that, uh, onto that Tornadus. That'd be good. That could work wonders. So, if I had to guess, he has a Swift from Kingdra in the back end, alongside with the, uh, with the King, uh, with the Kyogre, right? Yeah, there's Kyogre. Kind of saw his other two Pokemon. Kind of saw that. It's a pretty easy read there. You're not going to rock a Kyogre team and not bring him into your team, right? Am I right? But, uh, we already have that set up. I don't think we need a reflect. We have a light train setup, right? We have the light train setup. I do not think we need a reflect, so I don't think I should waste a turn doing that. I think at this point I just fake cure this thing. And I could go into an ice shot. Right over into it. Just to try to get off some damage and maybe just maybe pick up a KO. But we know he's going for a water spout. Oh, he's gonna withdraw you and bring out, I guess, Kingdra, right? Yeah, Kingdra comes out here. We are going to be able to get off a uh, Ice Shard onto you and a Fake Tears over onto, uh... Fake Tears over on the Kyogre before we go down. We know we're dead. We know we're dead here. So, with this going on, I could... I have to bring out my two Pokemon, and I wonder who I'm going to die. That's my real question. That is my real question, because this water is scary. Water is definitely scary. We know he's going to Dynamax the, uh, the King Jungle. I kind of do need a little bit of speed. I kind of do need a little bit of speed here. So I'm thinking of Dynamax into Moltres. I'm thinking of Dynamax into Moltres here. And maybe protecting... Do I protect... Palkia? Or do I go in for a shot? Here? What's the plan? What is the plan? How many turns left in Tailwind? That's the real question. I think it's one more turn left in Tailwind, right? Yeah, I see there. So, yes. One more turn left in Tailwind. Just have to switch some. So his... He's going to be flying here. I do want to Dynamax you, and I do want to go into him here. I do want to hit up on you, and then I just want to protect. That's going to be my fight. Because I could see him maybe going into, like, a dragon move. But we do resist it, because we are water typing. And that's such a huge part about Palkia. He's dragon and water, which is just amazing. Because he can resist dragon type moves. But he doesn't resist them. It's just normally effective. This is the one. This is a beautiful one. So if I had to guess, he is going to go into a dragon move in the Palkia. And if I can get off this airstream onto this Kai Ogre, that can lead me to very good things. That can lead me to very good things. Let's just see how this one plays. Let's just see how this one plays. Weather is such a huge factor. It's such a huge factor here. Especially that, like, I can't change up the weather unless I Dynamax a Pokemon such as, uh, such as Mamoswine, <laughs> like, or Rotom Heat. But, like, I really did not want to bring Rotom Heat in this situation because he's going to be able to outspeed me at all times, have a rain hit on me, and be able to take me out. But make a move, dude. we protecting our pal kid. We're going to say, hey, don't touch him. You're not allowed to touch him. He's a beautiful species. You're not allowed to touch him. He goes for the worm win. That's got to be into my path, right? Yes. Hold on. Hold on. Actually, it is super effective. Why do I think it was not very effective? A little weird. But I think it, it was it was not super effective. It made the sound. It made the sound. I thought it wasn't. I always thought it wasn't, but I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong here. Water spout comes out here. We're blocking it. How much damage? Is that going to trigger Berserk? I actually kind of hope it does. Let's see. It does not. So we're able to eat that up all day. We are going to grab some speed here. Some lovely little speed. And we're going to be able to do some big old damage. Okay. So now we're sitting in this position where it's kind of tough. Because we know that his Kingdra is just going to take out my Palkia, right? We know his Kingdra can just take out my Palkia all day. So what do I go into here? So what do I do here? I, I really want to protect again, but Max Darkness might be our play. Do we think he protects his Kyogre? That is a possibility. That is a possibility. 
would love to go for a double attack. But... Do, I, do I risk it? Let me double down on this Kingja. I say Kyogre might, might be protecting here. That's it. He does. He does protect, yo. So we're making some good reads here. Making some good reads here. Let's see his play here. Is he going to go for another worm when he ends? Palkia, can you eat? Probably not. He does, yo. That's huge. That is huge. Light screen doing us good. Light screen is doing us good. He's doing us real good here. He does have Tornado to set up another Tailwind. But we are maxed. This uh, Kingja is dead. This Kingja is 100% dead. If we deal this damage and the special that's going to be able to fly through here. And do some work. Now we have one more turn left in Dynamax. He has Tornadus in the back. Uh, I could protect Palkia, which I'm probably gonna do, and take out the Kyogre next turn. All right, that's probably my play. Basic Rain comes through. Later, later, big protect reads for Genes. Big protect reads. All right, so that's huge. That is huge, 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 huge. Palkia, no! Life Orb does that much? Life Orb does that much? Get out my face! Get out my face! Okay, uh. Okay, uh, I'm trying to think of what I should do here. I think I just take out Kyogre, right? Mmm, life orb is that much? What you mean? What you mean? Life orb really doing that much to me. Oh, uh, we have to go into another airstream here. I think we should go after Kyogre. That's probably a player. Hopefully, he sets up a tailwind and wastes a turn there. Let's see. Let's see this one. What's he gonna go for? He is gonna go for the tailwind. Okay, Ogre is going to be able to get off a shot here. Is it going to be an Ice Beam? That's the real question. It is. Mm. We might be fine here. We might be fine here. Because that procs policy. Now all we have to do is eat up a shot. All we have to do is eat up a shot. A Hurricane from Tornadus. And actually, I might be able to just rock a Protect here. And waste out the rain so he has a chance of missing it. Okay. Let's see. Let's make this happen. Let's make this happen. Yo, I can't believe Palkia went down on the life advantage. I thought he was going to be able to survive. I thought he was going to be able to survive. So, we're sitting here at half health. Hurricane can come in hot, which we don't like. Which we don't like. Hurricane King can definitely come in hot. We are... We are plus two on speed, but we are not going to be able to outspeed him. Let's see the rain turns. It is one turn. So, I am going to actually protect here. I'm definitely going to protect here and try to get Hurricane to miss. So we'll see how this one plays. Because he has to go for a hurricane, right? Maybe we can eat it up. We'll see. Hurricane is popping. It is popping. And the rain does stop. We know hurricane is flying through. Make it happen. Let's make it happen, Moltres. Need you here, baby. Need you here. Air Slash is definitely... Actually, what's our player? Fire Raster play. We do not want to miss an Air Slash. That would be embarrassing. Fire Raster play. And here we go. Here we go. Hurricane comes in here. It connects. Eat up. Eat up. I love you, Moltres. I... Hey! Hey! No! 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 Thank you. Thank you. GG's. <laughs> GG's, baby. Yo, Jeans is clutching up, making hard reads on the Kyogre Protect, clutching the battle, and grabbing ourselves a win in battle number two. Just know, if we would have lost to that confusion, I would have deleted my YouTube channel. This would have been the last video on Gene's YouTube channel because that would have been ridiculous. We made a great play on that Kai Ogre, ended up getting ourselves a win, and now we're hopping into battle number three and looking for that winning record. But we're going up against a Zassian team, looking pretty strong. He has to say bye to set the sunny day for the Charizard and the Venusaur. Then he also has the Urshfu and the Defiant, uh, what is that? Defiant b -b 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 Thunders. Defiant Thunders in that back end. Okay, how should I do this one? How should I play it? Um, I'm thinking of going into, hmm. It's a good lead here. I could go Moltres and Mammoth when I can, though. I could do that, but I definitely want to think of Dynamax and Palkia in this match. Just, just to show off some fun. I could go Rotom. In case he wants to go into Venusaur turn one. Kind of with that all day. And go Grimmsnarl and then have Palkia in the back end. And then final Mon. It would be Mammoth Swan because I really do like having Mammoth Swan. Especially up against a lot of these Pokemon. So I think we are going to rock out with them. Ferrothorn, I'm sorry. You're not going to be getting in today's video. I'm really sorry, buddy, but you guys already know about Ferrothorn. Ferrothorn is an absolute beast. He's a great stall Pokemon, but he only comes in in certain situations. So we're not going to be bringing him in here. Yo. So we got the, what is this? Is this Tower of Water? Or is this when we first mustered? I got random music on, so we're just jamming out to anything and everything. Dun, dun. Boom, boom. He goes Charizard and Sableye, so we can set up the Sunny Day all day. He can set up Sunny Day all day, and he might swap. Do I Dynamax here? Do I Dynamax, or do I Nasty Plot? 
I think I'm gonna nasty plot and set up a nice level. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna swap the Charizard. He might swap the Charizard, so let's see what he does. Big guy's gonna come out here. He's gonna fake out onto you, and what are you gonna go for here? Going after my Grimstarl, he's gonna go for an Ancient Power. Well, that's a little rough. Ancient Power flying through here, which we are able to eat up. And I am going to set up an Ancient Plot here. I get off of this. And now I'm gonna set up Blight Chain, and I have my Dynamax. I think I am going to Dynamax. Or do I just not Dynamax? Yeah, I'm gonna die next. I mean, who could he swap into? That's the real question. I want to see his team. Who could he swap into? Um, I'm gonna protect Charizard. I think I'm not gonna die next. I'm gonna save for Dynamax here. And I think we just set up this roof. Well, not this roof, but this light tree. Let's see what it does. He might protect, he might swap. Just for now, I switch. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Set up the slide screen. It'll be lovely. Hopefully, he doesn't get all those attack boosts. If he gets all those boosts, each power, I'll be very upset. Just for another each power, which we should be able to soak up. Bing, 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 bing. Sir, all day. Do not give him the stat boost. I'll cry a little bit. Cool. He doesn't get the stat boost. T Bolt's going to be able to fly through here. Again, we didn't Dynamax. It's huge. Right, so, no Dynamax fly through here. We're going to go here. And we're going to go for this uh, Spirit Breaker. I do not see him out. I really don't see him ally switching again. Most people do not go for the double ally switch. So I'm gonna just play smart. I'm just play this one like that. He's gonna end up Dynamaxing. He's gonna take out my Rotom with that, which uh, I guess I'm cool with. You wanna waste a Dynamax turn on my Rotom right there? That's fine. I still have Palkia in the back. I have Palkia in that back end who can work wonders. I can always go into fake tears. I can set up Reflex, but again, I don't see him going into this ally switch. And if he does, I'm, I am I actually kind of want it now. Now that Dynamax, let's see. Is he gonna do it? Now we're just going to set up the Sunny Day. So he sets up the Sunny Day, he's going to take some solar power damage. And let's see what he's going to do. So it's either he goes into Grimstarl, but yeah, yeah. Okay. He's going to drop the Rock Ball and just change up weather. <laughs> I'm fine with that. You want to waste some Sunny Day turn. Now he can't get the Sun out again, which is actually really good. He cannot get the Sun out again because we're going to kill the Sableye here. So that's on you, buddy. Look at my road time. Just posing such a huge threat on this Charizard, wasting turns. I like it all. Now I can bring out Palkia if I really want to. I'm probably going to do. I have Light Screen out. I can go for a Spear Break into him. Sableye is gone. I really do wonder who he's going to bring out here, but I think Palkia is my guy to bring out. I think Palkia is my guy. So Buff is going to chip away on both of us, and we're thriving. We thrive. Bring out Palks and save this Mammoth Swine for the back end. Definitely a good Pokemon for the back end, especially if he's Focus Ash. He can hit hard, and he has Ice Shirt. So we can go for a heavy hitting move, say it comes down to a 1v1. We can go for a heavy hitting move, even if he outspeeds me, and they go into an ice shard for a little damage to pick up a final attack. He's gonna go into. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Hmm, that seems a pain. I could guard. I could guard, I could set up a reflect. I'm just going into this quake here. And setting up this. Or do I fake tears? I think I fake tears and guarantee myself picking up this KO. I think I fake tears onto this thing. I think we have to get rid of Zacian. I think Zacian's an absolute must to get rid of here. I think it is a must. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see what this dude's got. Let's see what this dude's rocking with. So Palky's gonna come out here. We won't get ripping with him. We should be able to eat up a play run. 390 HP, come on, man. Way rough should be easy. Let's see what he goes into. I'm gonna protect him. Okay. Smart play by him. What's he going in with the Charizard? What's he doing with that Char? That's a real question. What are you doing with that Char? I'm gonna go for a Wildfire into Grimstone. That's cool. The Wildfire damage is gonna start chain around, but more importantly, we survive here. I can set up a Reflect next turn if I want to. But we are gonna get a special defense boost, which is huge. Which is just huge for my team. The quick's gonna fly through here. We're gonna start chipping away some damage on this thing. And I think another Max Quake might be able to pick up KO. So do I set up the Reflect? I think we do set up the Reflect before we out here. I think setting up this Reflect could be big. And do I, do I go into some water? Do I change up the weather to water or do I guard? I think we have to hit up here. I think we have to take our shot here. Yeah, with this Reflect, we're definitely gonna take our shot. Dude, wildfire, just chipping. Just chipping, man. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. Okay. So, 
We're sitting here. I think his final Pokemon might be Venusaur, or it could be Ursula. Could be Ursula. And in this case, I think we just go for a Geyser. What do we go for another special defense boost? Because that could be good for me. I said we just take you out and we just set up this for play. Yeah, that's my play. That is my play. Make it happen. Let's make it happen. So we should be able to take out this uh this assy no problem here with this with this quake, I'm thinking. He's gonna go into it. Oh ho ho ho! Son of a biscuit, man. Do me dirty. Do me real dirty. Airstream's gonna fly here. He's gonna start taking some speed. He's gonna tee off on my Palkia, but Palkia's gonna be able to soak that up all day. So he gets a little bit of speed action here. That's tough news. That's tough news that he goes into a sub. That's a good play by him, though. So we have one more turn left in this. We think he subs up again. That's no question. We'll, we'll take this special defense boost. We'll take this special defense boost all day. Ah, uh, dude, it's assy, man. That seemed doing me dirty. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm not worried about Charizard. I really am not worried about Charizard. I'm really only worried about this ass here. And do we think he subs up again? Do we think he subs up again? Yeah, that's the real question. Do we think he's going to sub up again? He might. He might do it. Grimstar should be able, should be fine here. Okay, okay, so Grimstar gets one more turn left. Again, I'm not worried about the Charizard. Unless he swaps. Unless he swaps, which is a potential thing. He could. I mean, I could go into this worm one. Just into this slot, which I, I think might be the play now. Do that, and then just fake tears. I mean, fake tears won't work. Hmm. We could fake tears. What do I do? What do I do? This will just spirit break. Just try to get off some damage here. See his dude's play. He's gonna sub again. So he's gonna sub up again. Take some take some uh damage off his board. And we're just gonna go into this worm one here and finish off this uh finish off the Charizard. The Charizard is gonna go down here. We are gonna get minus one on him, which is pretty big. I maybe should have been going for them shots all day into this Charizard. But we still have Mammoth Swine. We still have Mammoth Swine, who's good. And we have telepathy on this path. So there's that. That picks up the KO. There's minus one on him. Uh what do I do? What's the plan? What is the plan here? What is the plan? Because he still has sub up. He still has sub up, and that is scary. And that is scary. So Mammoth Swine is an absolute must come out. And he's gonna throw out his final Pokemon, which is the Urshifu. Which is the lovely Urshifu. Okay. So I think we EQ. I could protect. I could protect and drop an EQ. Which might be our play. Mm. I just want to go for a space run here. Do you? And drop an EQ. That's gonna be my play. That's my play. That is my play. Let's make it happen. Let's make something happen here. He does outspeed me, which is so tough. It is so tough. This is such a tough battle here. Maybe I should have doubled down into Zassian slot. He comes out. He's probably going for Behemoth Wade. No, he's going to protect. I actually like that turn then. I actually really like this turn then. Let's see what happens here. He's going to detect. Okay, never mind. I don't, I don't like that turn. I don't like that turn one bit. <laughs> EQ is going to get blocked on both ends. And... Hmm. Lepathy's just going to not hit me. Great. And Spatial Run's going to fly through here and get blocked. Okay. Uh, hmm. Fansword does subside. He saw a sub up. He doesn't know where Sash, though. Oh, there goes my there goes my Sash. There goes my Sash. That's tough. So he's just chipping away damage onto us. Uh, ch -ch hmm. Let's just do this. Let's just do this. This is our play. This is our play. This is our play. We need him to miss something, but I think it's pretty much GG's. I think it's pretty much GG's here. Oh, man, dude. We're gonna, no, I don't want to lose in record. Sassy can go for Blade. Yep, there goes my Mamo. Unless Mamo can eat. He is even. He's not plus one anymore, so let's see. Mamo eat. He's still dead. I know. Yep, all day. No! What you mean? The Palkia team giving us a rough time today. Rough time today. Granted, we probably should have won that first battle. We definitely probably should have won that first battle. We played the end a little wrong. But second battle, we came in clutch. We made some great reads. Had some great battles in that one. Grabbed ourselves a win there. And then this battle, we ended up just losing. Zassian outpowered us at the end. And he made some great plays with subbing. 
one and two for today's video ended up grabbing ourselves a losing record but still i had a lot of fun recording with this team i think we definitely could have played better we did not play our best today our first battle we came off very very strong with that moltres kill on the thus cops but we played the back end very very bad i should say we definitely should have won that one but we played it bad end up losing that first battle second battle we rolled out strong made some great reads ended up picking up a big win for you guys and then in that third battle i feel like we just played our dynamax with that palkia wrong we definitely should have made some different moves definitely should have went after zassian in a different way and probably would have won if i would have done that but guys that is gonna be it for today's video if you did enjoy the content don't forget to smash that like button for me and if you're new here click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live seriously you guys rock out make sure you spread some positivity today and i'll catch you on the next one peace out everybody Thank you.